if you have the Xbox Series X or S in your hands and have been playing games for a few weeks now, you're probably wondering what are some of the essential accessories you should think about getting to really elevate your next gen gaming experience. From the proper headset, wireless controller, or even mouse and keyboard, we're taking a look at some of the essential accessories you should get for your Xbox Series X and S. If you're rocking with the Xbox wireless controller right here, that means you're unfortunately stuck with AA batteries. Now in this case, what you want is a rechargeable battery kit. Now Microsoft actually has an official Xbox play and charge kit, but there's different variants for the old and new Xbox controller, which kind of limits things. Power A, on the other hand, has this really, really cool dual charging station that allows you to charge up to two controllers at a time using their rechargeable batteries. There's two included in the box, along with two battery doors that fit the Xbox Series X controller and two that fit the Xbox One controller. I gotta say, I really like this a lot because you know the last thing you wanna do is have to run around your house looking for batteries because they'll inevitably die uh, on you. And so it's very nice to kind of just like have this since not everyone necessarily has AA batteries in bulk. Now the LED light indicator beneath the base tells you when the controllers are charging with the amber light and when it's completely charged with white. Now at $29.99, it's a great alternative to buying batteries in bulk. I gotta say, it also just looks pretty damn clean in your overall setup. Now, what about those of you out there that game on keyboard and mouse? Well, you're gonna wanna get your hands on the world's first wireless mouse and keyboard design specifically for Xbox One compatible with the Series X, the Razer Turret. Now, the Xbox supports any mouse and keyboard, but the Razer Turret is specifically designed for console. It actually has an Xbox button, for example. Now, while Xbox does support mouse and keyboard on a system level, it still varies on a game-by-game -game basis if the game supports the controls. Now, personally, I gotta say, I've never actually used a keyboard and mouse on a console prior to this, but with the Razer Turret's sturdy design, I can actually see myself kind of getting used to something like this. And with the pull-out mouse pad and magnetic mouse, you don't have to worry about it sliding off, you know, when you're in the middle of it, like an intense gameplay session. It's really sturdy. Uh, now, this baby is gonna set you back $249.99, which is expensive, I know, for a keyboard and mouse, uh, but you know what, if you are in fact a keyboard and mouse gamer, you're getting a lot of use out of this one, as it's not only compatible with your console, it's also compatible with PC. Now, I don't know if y'all knew this, but not everyone games on keyboard and mouse, like myself, I don't necessarily do that. And while there's a handful of different options for high-end controllers, which we'll actually break down in a separate video, today we're focusing on the Xbox Elite Series 2. And with a price range of 179, this is definitely a controller for the hardcore gamers willing to fork over a bit more for customization and functionality. Now at quick glance, I gotta tell you, the Elite Series 2 looks similar to the stock Series X wireless controller, but if you look closer, you'll see all the finer details that kinda set it apart aesthetically. You know, you got the rear paddles right here, the option of a faceted D-pad and thumbsticks, which all attach to the controller magnetically, so you can actually swap them out for new ones or variants that might improve gameplay. Now, the customization actually extends further than aesthetics through the Xbox Accessories app, where you can remap buttons and a few other options. Now, I actually tried remapping buttons to the paddles while playing Call of Duty Cold War, and while I gotta say there's definitely a learning curve, using them, they'll definitely give you the added edge on the battlefield regarding responsiveness, and it's very comfortable on the fingers. Now the price tag of 179 I know is a bit scary for some, but it's literally the price you have to pay for a fancy controller. Now as for battery life, this bad boy will last you about 40 hours on a single charge, which should definitely last you up to a week, depending on your gaming habits, of course. 
That goes without saying how important sound is in games, especially in first person shooters. You need to be very well aware of your surroundings and the Steel Series Arctis 7 is top tier in the category of spatial awareness in gaming headsets. We went in depth on the capabilities of the Arctis 7X in our previous video focusing on wireless gaming headsets. Definitely encourage you to check that video out if you haven't already. Now you got the retractable mic, the 40 foot wireless range, a battery life of up to 24 hours and your side tone controls on the side. Now these will set you back for about $149.99, but definitely worth it if you're looking to take your overall gaming experience to the next level in sound quality performance. So those are our recommendations for the essential accessories you should scoop up to really elevate your next gen gaming experience. The Xbox Elite Series 2, the Power A Dual Charger, the Razer Turret Keyboard and Mouse, and the Steel Series Arctis 7X. Now the holidays are coming up, I would definitely consider putting a few of these on my list if I didn't already own them. Now which of these do you already rock on the daily? I'm honestly very curious what some of the essential accessories you all might have for your next gen gaming gaming consoles already. Comment down below with what accessories you have and let's discuss. For more on tech, check out our wireless gaming headset comparison video or our wireless keyboard comparison video. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.com. <laughs>